Well, Alan, you're looking great. You're looking very well. Thank you. Life treating you well at the moment? Yeah. Uh, last time we were on the show, um, you were a single man. Yep, yep, yep. And we set you up with an internet date. We put Alan's details on a chat site and a <laughs> website, and we found, and a fellow called Vincent from Ghana was the one approach you had. <laughs> uh, did you get in touch with him? Did you well, follow that through? Two years. Two years. No, <laughs> no, I never got in touch with Vincent from Ghana. OK, but you are... You are I'm not going to go into too much into, <laughs> into your personal life, but you are seeing someone at the moment, I believe. Yes, I am. OK, what's the lucky lady's name? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gay. Oh, very modern. <laughs> Keep it under your hat. I know, I know. Um, OK, uh, Sunday Night Project, is it coming back soon? Is yeah, it, uh... Christmas. OK, so, and it's a, a one-off or series? No, it's series. Uh, yeah. Do you know who's lined up? You, you I, I, I do know who we're going after, and it's amazing. Can you tell us who you're after, or who said yes? No, yet? well... Oh, we... Come on. Well, no, I can't, cos I... You see, you know with me, I, me and my big mouth, I go on to these interviews... Hey, there is a thought. What about Parky doing it? What about Sir oh. Michael? Coming out and doing it with the two of you? That would be funny. <laughs> would, he do, would he do it? I certainly well, would. He would! <laughs> Come on! Thank you for that. You're tired in now. Uh, but who do you have? Who do you have? Apart, no, you know... I can't say, because every time I mention them, they either die or go into rehab. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. And I get them ringing up, Alan, why did you say that? Oh, blimey. That's not... So it's a curse. It's the curse it of It is car. a curse. And if I say something, then this okay. works. She's, she's absolutely brilliant. If, she get, if we get her, she'll be amazing. Madonna. No, no, but someone like Madonna. Britney Spears. Anyway, listen. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, 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 they're ringing up. I'm going to get in so much trouble, but they're ringing up. Yeah, yeah, they're ringing oh, up Britney. Yeah. OK, well, that'd be great. Bring up a warden. Put Britney on, please. No, bless her. <laughs> Good luck to her. She seems to be through that patch now. Thank yeah, she has. She's got all her hair back now and not... Not eating things with her umbrella. Is that your way of telling whether people are wearing it? She's got all her hair back anyway, so <laughs> yeah. I'll give her a call. It can't hurt. Get your Britney's out. All right. Um, now, here's the thing. How, how old are you, uh, Mr Carl? 32. 32 years old, and you'd thought he'd have waited a decent period of time, but no, he's already gone and bought his autobiography out, ladies and gentlemen. It's called Look Who It Is. Yeah. It's out now. Uh, you haven't really lived enough to bring out a proper autobiography, but it's a funny... Why are people laughing at that? I don't know whether... Oh, that is such a minging photo. <laughs> Oh, no, look at that chin. <laughs> you look like... <laughs> Which one? Oh, oh. <laughs> Even from Vincent and from Garner would kick me to the curb looking like that. Vince, I, think, I think Vincent saw the inner beauty when he answered the advert. That was after. <laughs> uh, I, no, you were good-looking. You are kind oh, of... You're, you're not you. good-looking in a conventional sense, no, of course. No, no, no. No, no, but, but you're, good, you're a very attractive fella. Thank you, thank you. Know, you. you, you your charm shines through. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's some pictures in the book, though, of course. This is the great thing about these kind of books. And, you know, Sir Michael Parkinson has his autobiography out, and, and he has lived. I mean, he has lived and lived... Well, you can see he's lived. But he has <laughs> one incredible life. And, of course, his life covers, you know, the, the Suez crisis, the early days of newspapers in this country. You know, he grew up in a, in a different age altogether. <laughs> Whereas this young whippersnapper... Oh, right, look at who that. ..who grew up to look like this... <laughs> look at that. Now... Alan, what happened in those years in between there? Because you are cute. Let's have a look at the first one. There's a cute young fella with all his life ahead of him. Oh, now, and you think, what a that. lovely little fella. And then you see this one in the pub, you think, blimey, I'm going to get a restraining order. <laughs> Firstly, Jonathan, I was in a play, so I wasn't I was oh, all, like, I didn't dressed know. down Friday and I thought, oh, I'll pop on a <laughs> paedophile outfit. <laughs> what, what, what was the play? What were you playing there? I played um, Mr. Iger. Yeah, and he was just a, like a henpecked husband. It was really <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get reviews? Uh, no, not very good. I've got no range, you see what I mean? <laughs> I, as you say, Hang on, what's book... going on there? That's, uh, what? that's well, an that's unusual family. Nan. Oh, that's sweet. Now, my Nan, she was always like... You know, because you know, I went and asked me a uh, grandparent, you know, for, like, give me some, you know, fond memories. She goes, always treading in dog shit. <laughs> 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 well... There was more, more of it about in the 70s, uh, yeah, wasn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Always, if there was dog shit, you'd tread in it. <laughs> I'm funny, like, when I first smiled, when yeah. I first walked, no, you first trod in dog shit. <laughs> I was there trying to get it out. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
but you can see why that memory would stay with her because yes. I don't know if you ever cleaned it off a child's shoe, but it's no fun. No, and no. they don't help. Well, like, I had a book signing at Blue Water, and she lives down the road, so I took her. So along. she's still with us. Yes, yeah, she's so still with nice, us. Though. And um, you know what old people like. And I rang her up. I'm 15 minutes late. The Mercedes had put on to take her there. Lovely. I've got me 15 minutes late now. Well, I've got me coat and shoes on now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what, what are you, uh, what, was it fun to write? Did you enjoy it? Because I know you wrote it yourself, of course. It's, yeah, and, it's, yeah. and it's very honest, I know. You, you wrote about, you know, growing up and, and discovering yeah. that you were gay or realising that and, and yeah. the awkwardness of adolescence and all that. Yeah. Was that difficult to write? Was it cathartic? Well, it's all right because people say to me, oh, no, what was it like, you know, when you actually came out to your parents? And I was, honestly, I was so camp. I, there was no way I could come out. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, never gone back in. I was never in. How old were you then? <laughs> when you were <laughs> when you, when you told <laughs> Well, I was like, I mean, I, it just makes me laugh that I'm actually going to sit down to my mum and dad and say, look, <laughs> I, mean, I want to Something you. you don't know, yeah. <laughs> that goes, is this a sick joke? <laughs> but, but so, so you've always spoken with the kind of slightly flamboyant, slightly... Yeah, camp. always had this voice like I put in the book. I mean, I woke up, 13, puberty had come. Left with massive knockers and a voice like a pensioner. <laughs> <laughs> everyone else had like stubbly chins. And I mean, and I know everyone's laughing about it, but I used to do country dancing and they used to swing and I'd be like, <laughs> like that. And you know, when you're getting looks off some of the fathers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, well oh, they, were, uh, they were confused and they were perhaps curious. Yes! <laughs> now, uh, in the book, uh, and I've enjoyed the book very much, it's a great read. Did you, you mentioned in the book, you talk about some of the jobs you had before you decided you wanted to go to oh, showbiz, yeah, when, you yeah. were in those, uh, when you were at school also, mm. but afterwards, some of the worst, what were the worst jobs you had? Um, I've, had I've done every job. Um, I was driver's mate. A where, driver's mate is where you sit in the cab... Yeah, and you accompany the driver on his journey and while what, what we deliver conservatories. It's to keep him awake and to direct him on the map. So you're <laughs> navigating? Yeah, and I am awful at directions. <laughs> and, uh, and then, but for an extra £150, if you slept with him, not slept, slept with him, <laughs> slept with him overnight in his cabin, you got extra money, only because then... Because what you do is you'd stop off at the M25 and then you'd do, like, Cornwall and Devon with the conservatories. So I'd be there... So it's a long like this, And the cabin would be like this, and he'd be there and I'd be there... Oh ..with this driver. <laughs> and I don't think he got much sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> he was like, because like, Alfred was thinking, oh, you know, he might be like this hunky like driver. You, you were know? hoping you'd get some of Brad Pitt driving. Yeah, yeah you know. You know, but he was, no, he looked, he looked like who I was in that well, that's play. Quite, and how old were you then? How old were you then? Oh, I was about um, 18. 18, I so just starting out. The, the jobs, I mean, and I know it's quite funny how I wrote them, but they do get you down. I mean, there was one where I was wiping grease off of gearboxes, and it was cash in hand. <laughs> So I had this, a massive pot of meths and a rag and I had to wipe them off like that and then run into this massive oven, hook them on <laughs> and then go and get it round the other back with these massive oven gloves. But the meths were seriously affecting my health and I was like... I know everyone's happy when they leave at the <laughs> I, was like, I was like this... Oh, all over the place. <laughs> off me face. <laughs> The world I lived well, in. It was a different world for you. I feel sorry for you because you're kind of a delicate. You're quite a delicate fellow. I fella, am a you're, delicate fellow. You're suddenly thrown this with all these big butch fellas. You have to pretend to be otherwise. Now, did you? Uh, well, what was the first approach you had from a man? Did you approach a man first, or did a man come on to you? What, when did that happen? The thing is, very drunken at the beginning. I mean, because I grew up in Northampton and there's no gay bars <laughs> or anything. There's no gay scenes. So what I used to do was I used to wait for the hairdressers to finish <laughs> and follow them and see where they went. <laughs> Well, that's some advice we're giving people. Here. This is public I service broadcasting at its finest. Following them home. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and, and did you get any action that way? You found yeah, out I where did, to go? I, I, a few, but very drunk. I was, I was so nervous. I was oh, nervous dear. about it. Well, of course you would be. We all are when we start out on the, you know, yeah, growing up as people. We go on it straight away. You're, yeah. you're nervous to begin with. Mm. Now, Alan. I believe you have just recorded because you can not just buy the book uh, in book form, but uh, you've also recorded it. Uh, you recorded, it, and it's a kind of a, yeah. a praised version, I guess, of the book. You yeah, recall. it's like you sit in this uh, booth and yeah. uh, you just talk, and then they will say, "Oh, you got that wrong. You said it wrong." And 
Uh, it's really depressing doing it, but uh, the thing is, they gave me um, Gordon Ramsay's biography, audio book to listen to, to get some hints, and I put it in. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I made the fucking starter. I thought, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> I <made my> fucking <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> I had to turn it off. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. It was just like having someone with Tourette's in the room. <laughs> well, he's just made a career out of this room. I know he has, but I don't want to hear it in my own front room. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I've, I very much enjoy reading your book. I'd oh, like thank to, you. But, but I don't know whether I want to hear you read your book. Why not? Well, because of that reason. That's <laughs> you, that's <laughs> you put that on, you think you've got a mouse in the car. So, um, <laughs> but I, and I like the idea of mixing things up. So I've got an extract of, uh, of Sir Michael Parkinson's book. I thought maybe we could hear what it would be like if you were reading his autobiography. Oh, good, yeah. And I've given him an extract of your book, and I thought we could hear what it's like for him to be reading yours out. So if you wouldn't mind going first. <laughs> this is Alan. This is from Sir Michael's book. And if he was to read um, from uh, Parky's autobiography, this is what you'd get on tape. OK. Parky, my autobiography. Already I like it. <laughs> when I returned home, I knew I had gone on my last assignment. I simply wasn't designed to be one of that special breed <laughs> who lived with a packed case by their beds and couldn't wait to be sent to a foreign land. I was a feature writer trying to be a hard-nosed <laughs> foreign correspondent and it didn't work. I had tried but was found wanting. If I had a future on television, it would be elsewhere. <laughs> oh, you see? Now that... I, I don't want to give you ideas, Michael, but that... That would, oh, no. that would sell itself. <laughs> well, that's a book I'd buy. OK, if you wouldn't mind, Sir Michael, you ready? This is Sir Michael. If he was to read uh, Alan Carr's book on tape, this is what you'd be getting for your money. brilliant. And he's had a very eventful life, uh, even in repose, as you'll find out here. Once I remember waking up one morning in a strange house with a Jack Russell sitting on my face. <laughs> <laughs> this could seriously affect my career, I see. <laughs> I know this sounds perverse, but the house was so cold, I let her sit on it for a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat a warm face. You cannot beat a... <laughs> Thank you, Sir Michael. Uh, OK, I'm looking forward to uh, hearing your book on tape as oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, uh, two things I hear. One is um, there's another series of the Celebrity Ding Dong coming on. Yeah, next and Friday. That's on Channel 4, but you've changed it, this series. Yeah, yeah, um, we've got... It's, it's um, celebrities versus celebrities, cos we've got told off for picking on civilians and celebrities. Now, civilians is what you call non-famous people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's celebrities and celebrities. Yeah, we've got it's... EastEnders versus Coronation oh, Street. That'd be fun, that'd be fun. So it's good, yeah. That could really end in tears, if you're not careful there. Oh, and is this true, I hear, that you're going to do a chat show? Well, li I, I, it is, yes. <laughs> oh my God! What am I so, gonna Michael, do? you've got out just in time. Look at they're letting in now. They're <laughs> letting any Tom, Dick, or Howie do it. Me and the Jack Russell. What kind of show will it be? Is it, is it a specific kind of show? Is it going to be? Listen, do you know what? I've got so much on my plate at the minute. Yeah. I've just, you know, we've got Ding Dong and Sunday Night Project and all that lot. But yeah, next year it will be. But you know, I want to get some tips. What do you reckon? Um, do you reckon I've got it? Well. <laughs> You've got something, for sure, right? <laughs> OK, I'm sure, you know what, because you are who you are, and I find you impossible not to like, so I think whatever you tell do... Tell that to the drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no advice to offer you, but you no. know what, I would watch that like I'd watch anything oh, you're in. thank you. Ladies thank and gentlemen, you. Mr Alan Carr. <laughs> thank you, Alan. Thank you. Thank you. That's the best one. You've got one more book. Oh, no, All no, the no, stories no. are there. Thank you. Alan Carr. Right, <laughs> <laughs>